Hey guys, my name is Akil and welcome to Beta Credit Guide. Like you know, most of the people are asking for the Mistogo round to coding solutions. And you all know that around three weeks back, I have released the video on Mistogo round to coding questions. I have released the solutions on coding questions like what's the pattern and the essay question asks the number of questions we have to do and the programming questions are specified. But I'm not going to deal with that questions today. So basically, the uh, they have all the questions has been dealt in the past and thus questions are not been repeated so what i'm doing is that today one of our candidates have written the test so i will be explaining the questions as well as the code which i have written so for that question all of, most of the test cases have passed so it will be better in case if you go through all these questions right so before getting late let's dive into the question number one so here you see here is the first question like infinity items and you are working in a used factory the factory is so used that this manufactures an infinite number of items you are given an array of integers of size n named cost array denoted the cost of the distinct items manufactured in the factory all the n items are linearly arranged in the array as and when n more items are manufactured they are appended at the end of the cost array and goes on thus it forms an infinite array Okay, so you are given two queues. Each queue consists of two integers, L of i and R of i. Your task is to calculate the profit that can be earned by selling all the items from position L of i to the position R of i from the array cost of cost array. So as the answer will be very large and the output must be in the form of mod 10 power 9 plus 7. So that's how the test cases they will be giving. Like you can see the test case here. Like the input one they have given 4, 5 which is a set and the input 2 is 3 and the input 3 is 1 comma 3 which is a set and input 4 4 comma 7 which is a set and the output uh, sorry input 5 is 2 the output is 14 and 7 so let us see the explanation like cost of array is 415 415 415 5, 5, which means that 415 is repeated three times and for query 1 which is l is equal to 1 and r is equal to 4 the item sold are 4 1 5 4 so the total profit turns is 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 14 like you see l is equal to 1 and r is equal to 4 and the remaining items are 4 1 5 4 4154 so same 4154 which is equal to 14 for the query 2 l is equal to 3 and r is equal to 7 here so uh, the item sold are 54154 so 54154 so the total profit turn is 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 19 so just mumbling over there just don't get uh, confused 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 which is equal to 19 therefore the array is 14 plus 19 will be the return as output as simple as that so let's see the another test case like here we go so input 1 1 2 5 3 and the input 2 3 input 3 7 comma 4 input 4 8 comma 8 and input 5 2 so the output same 5 12 5 3 12 5 3 12 5 3 which has to be repeated again which is an infinite loop and then for query l is equal to 7 and r is equal to 8 the item sold at 12 comma 8 so the total profit turn is 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 and the for query 2 L is equal to 4 and R is equal to 8. The items sold are 12, 5, 3, 12, 5. So the total profit done is 12 plus 5 plus 3 plus 12 plus 5 is equal to that 7. So that's the answer. So for this question, the uh, the entire logic would be as follows. So this is the code you have to write. Like they will be giving you the uh, syntax like what, what is the default uh, uh, definition of the uh, function. So that's the thing. And the year ago, this is the code that you have to write in the uh, examination, like uh, the Mr. Coding Law. Okay. So this is the input like 4153-13472 and 12533-74888 and 2. That's the test cases which they have given from the picture below. So 12533-74882. So now what we'll be doing? So just we'll be running the program. Like check, let's check with the the uh, enter output is getting right or not. So the first test case which is 4153-13472, uh, the output should be 14 and 19. So let's check that. Okay, 4153134728, which has an output of 14, 19. And the next one was 12533748822, which has an output of 17, 37. Let's see. So 17, 37. So that's the uh, solutions solution video of the uh, code of the first question. Like I will be pausing the video for a few seconds. So you can have a you can have a note of the uh, code which I have written. Or just in case if you have an optimized code, just comment down the code in the comment section. So I will be looking into it and the, our followers will also will be able to look into the code. Okay, fine. So let's dive into the another question. So the next question is, ask tick values. So you are given a string S which consists of numerical characters only. 
you need to calculate the sum of all the austic values that are possible for the string s you can use the following method to calculate the austic values of the given string you can insert any number of plus signs between the characters of a string to create a new string that convert into an integer to make it an austic value so the given string is 432 so the possible austic values of the string are 4 plus 32 4 43 plus 2 4 plus 3 plus 2 4 3 2 which are that 6 plus 45 9 and 4 3 2 so likewise we have to uh, split the every number so your task is to find and return a string representing the sum of all possible austic values of the given string uh, simple program like as i told before so we are using just for search algorithms there so the first one is 1 2 5 we have an output of 1 7 6 so how it is possible right here you can see so the possible austic values of the given string are 1 plus 25 12 plus 5 1 plus 2 plus 5 and 125 which are 26, 17, 8, 125 thereafter the sum of all these austic values is 176 since 176 is written as output and the next one so which they have given 111 and the output is 138 so here the given string is 111 so the possible austic values of the string are 1 plus 11 plus 11 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 which are 12, 12, 3, 1 comma 1 sorry 111 therefore the sum of all these austic values 138 tends to 138 written as output so let's see the co uh, coding solution for this and I think this is the first one. Yeah. So this is the first one which gave 125 and 111. We have to return like for 125 we have to get the answer as uh, 176 and 111 we have to get the answer as 138. Let me run this program. Uh oh. Something I missed man. Okay. Oh, so I'll look at one. Is in that case. input one okay i think i need to pass another one yeah see so that's the solution right 176 and 138 like what is this is nothing but the cls which will be passing as an argument which will be taken as a default uh defaultly it will be passing to the function when you use the online compiler of mr go but as we are using another compiler and you know, on it makes sense. Sometimes we make mistakes, and here one or zero, and thing that that's not a problem. So as per the simple set, just have you put it a one. So that's it, guys, and I will be pausing the video for a few seconds. You can have a note of the solution. Okay, so let's dive into another question, which is the third question, and which is the final one. So alien values, so you are given as array of a of n greater than 3 distinct integers. Your friend alien, alien removes only two elements from the array, adds a value greater than 0 to the remaining elements, shuffles the array and leaves the newly formed array g for you. So your task is to return an integer value, represent the minimum possible value that ln added to each element of the array a to get the array g. I think this kind of soft problems will you be you will be finding in max like just quick max so you'll be having the stuff they call probability and stats so basically you'll be having this, this problem so dealt on the uh, de dm and de okay so the so let's see the test cases for that so input one is three two one three so the input two input three is two and the output is, output is one so let us see by removing the element two and three two and three from the input two present at the first and third index respectively the array will become one so now by adding one to the remaining elements the newly formed array g is 2 since 1 is the minimum possible value uh, required to be added to convert array a to the g therefore 1 is written as an output as simple as that so here you can see so this is the expected output and this is the actual output uh, actual output so in case if you remove one from everything or else in case if you add one for everything so as i said it will be remaining as one as the answer okay so let me dive into the solution video for this uh, sorry solution code for that so here you go so 3 2 1 3 and 3 so let me run this okay same missing parameter one let me pass this one so the answer is one like just i will pause the video for a few seconds just make a note of the code Super guys, so that's the uh, entire video of Mr. Go round two coding solutions. And these are the new solutions, new code and new solutions for the latest test that was conducted today itself. So mostly in case if you, if the people was, who will be going to write the exam tomorrow. 
just refer all these codes and attempt the test all the best guys and this is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one item values and you know austic values as well as the uh, calculate profit and in case if you need any kind of solution videos or any kind of coding round test solutions and job postings please do subscribe our channel btk for videos all the best guys